The Planet Man. The Planet Man. This is the fascinating story of Dan Tro, the Planet Man. Troubleshooter for the League of Planets organization, the law enforcement body for peace and justice in the celestial world, whose headquarters and center of operations are situated on the capital of all the planets, Planaria Rex. From Mercury to Pluto, wherever danger threatens the universe, you will find Dantro the Planet Man fighting for fair play. In a moment, the Planet Man. As you remember, the planeteer with Slick and Blackie, the two pirates, was destroyed when it struck one of the space mines the League Patrol had surrounded it with. The planet man and Pat Darrow, thinking the kids were aboard or marooned alone somewhere, are heading back to Planaria Rex to break the sad news to Professor Darrow and Slats. Meanwhile, Billy and Jane are safe but miserable aboard the ship of the prospector who picked them up. If only we could make him listen to reason. We've tried, Billy, but he just won't pay any attention to us. Come on, let's talk to him again. Rox. What do you want? Look, you've just got to take us to the closest league patrol station. You've been all through that, son. No sense bringing that up again. But... Ain't no buts about it, son. I'm a prospector, not a rescue party. But it'll only take you a little out of your way. You can go right back. Yes, and while I'm carting you two off, someone else is liable to discover that asteroid. Nope, nothing doing I've been hunting for that rock 20 years, and I ain't going to turn away again. Now go on back and stop bothering me. Come on, Jane. Oh, you're a horrible man. You didn't think so a little while back. I almost wish you'd left us on that asteroid. Never mind, Jane. Come on. How much longer before we get to Planaria, Rex? About another 24 hours, Pat. Well, I almost wish we weren't going back. I dread the thought of telling Father about the kids. Have you had any word from the patrol? They've been checking with me every hour. So far, there's no sign of the kids. They're covering the asteroid belt, and it'll take a while to check it. What makes you think the kids are in the asteroid belt? It's just a hunch, but that's where Slick dropped us, and he might have done the same thing with Billy and Jane. Dantro, would you break the news to my father? Somehow the idea of my doing it is almost impossible. Very well, Pat, whatever you wish. I'll do anything I can to help make it easier. Jane, I think I know how to handle rocks. Oh, quick, tell me. Well, if I could get behind him and use that rock I brought aboard, I might be able to knock him out. Do you think he'd hurt you if he caught us at it? I don't believe so. He's really not that mean. He's just a little nutty about finding that asteroid of his. Well, if you're willing to try it, I will. All right, here's what we'll do. You lay here on this bunk and moan and groan and stuff, and I'll get behind the bulkhead with a rock. When he comes through the door, I'll hit him. But don't hit him too hard. Just enough to knock him out. Don't worry. He's a pretty thick-headed guy. Besides, it sounds kind of silly. First you're mad, and now you're afraid I'm going to hurt him. You know what I mean, Billy. I'll do anything to keep Dantro and Pat out of danger, but I... I don't want to see rocks hurt more than is necessary. Okay, okay. Now get over on that bunk. Do your stuff. Make it sound like you're really dying. He's a pretty cagey old guy. You just listen to me. Oh. Oh. Is he coming, Billy? Keep it up. Oh. What's going on in there? Oh, I feel just terrible. Darn kids, I should have known better than to pick you up. Now, what's wrong? Oh. All right, all right, I'm coming. Can't be as bad as it sounds. Look out, Billy. Uh, I must have thought I was pretty stupid to fall for an old trick like that. Now, come on out from behind there before I wring your neck. All right, all right, I'm coming. What's that you got in your hand? Nothing. Let me see it. Well, it's just a hunk of rock from the asteroid. What were you going to do, hit me over the head with it? Well, let's not talk about it. Better hand it over. Not going to take any more chances with you two. Say, that weighs a ton. If you overhit me with that, you might crack my skull. Say, wait a minute. 
Where'd you say you found this? Oh, what's the difference? Look, youngster, don't give me any trouble now. Where'd you find this? Oh, back on the asteroid. You mean the one I picked you up off of? Sure. The same one that Plant Man and the girl were on? Sure. Say, what's this all about? Well, if that doesn't beat everything. What's he talking about, Billy? Well, I don't know. I ask Kim. Guess he's just going completely out of his head. Out of my head, nothing, son. You know what this is? Sure, it's a hunk of rock. A rock, nothing. It's 80% pure uranium, or I've wasted 20 years studying ore. A uranium asteroid right under Rock's nose, and he never knew it. All that asteroid meant to him was trouble. We'll be back in a moment, so level off. When we left Billy and Jane, they were still aboard Rock's ship. Now heading back for Planaria Rex are Danter and Pat, who, thinking that Billy and Jane are dead, face the hard task of telling Professor Darrow. Any word? Same as before, Pat. They're still looking. Oh, let's admit it, Dantro. It's hopeless. We both know it. We might as well face the fact the kids are gone. No, Pat. Never give up hope until you're certain. But you said yourself. I know, Pat, and certainly there's nothing to count on. As long as there's a chance the kids are alive somewhere, we'll keep looking. You're just trying to make me feel better. Have you heard anything from Planaria Rex? I talked to Judge Augustus again. He's promised to keep the news from your father in Slats. He hasn't heard anything, has he? No. We'd hear it first. All reports are being routed through the cosmos. The minute there's any news, we'll know it. That asteroid we were on was the one you've been looking for for all this time? That's right, son. That's the one. But didn't you examine it? No, I was busy saving people. I never even checked that. Just goes to prove what I said. Prospectors got no business messing around being a hero. Lucky thing you brought that rock aboard. I might never have found out about it. What are you going to do now? Will you take us to the League Patrol Station? League Patrol Station? We're heading back to that asteroid as fast as I can. Oh, no, not back again. But that's the wrong direction. Maybe it's wrong for you, but it's a direction I've been looking for for 20 years. Oh, Billy, we'll never reach Dantro and Pat in time. Now, don't get yourself all worked up. I told you before, they're probably safer than you are. Maybe if you behave yourselves, I'll give you a nice big present when we go to Plenaria Rex to verify my claim. Hey, wait a minute. Now what? I just thought of something. Who owns an asteroid? What do you mean, who owns an asteroid? I mean, who files a claim on it? Why, the one that finds it. That's what the law says. Anyone who finds valuable metals on an asteroid can file a claim with the Lig Patrol. Then they check the records on Planaria Rex, and if no one else has claimed it, you got rights to anything you find there. Then how can you claim that asteroid? What do you mean, how can I claim it? I found it, didn't I? Oh, no, you didn't. I found it. That's right, Billy, you did. Just a minute. What are you talking about? Who landed there? Who picked you up? That's right. But we were there first. And besides, where did the rock come from that you're holding in your hand? Why, you brought it aboard. You, you're going to beat my brains out with a little while ago, you were. So how can you say you have a claim to that asteroid? Now, look. Don't you try to pull your tricks on me. I've been hunting that rock for 20 years now, and I ain't going to be tricked out of it by no little snip from Earth. Nobody's trying to trick you out of it. No. You know what Billy says is true. You just landed on it. We were the ones who were there, and if Billy didn't bring that rock with him, you still wouldn't know that that was the asteroid with the uranium. You wouldn't do this to me. You can't. After all these years I've spent hunting, you mean to tell me that you'd trick me out of it? What do you mean, trick you out of it? We found it and we discovered it. But maybe we can make a deal. A deal? Why should I make a deal? That asteroid belongs to oh, me. I don't think the claims office on Planaria Rex would agree with you. And Jane is my witness. Uh, well, suppose you two didn't get back to Planaria Rex. What do you mean? You forget something, son. Nobody but you and me and Jane knows that I picked you up. If I didn't bring you back, nobody's going to know the difference. As far as the planet man, the lady are concerned, they'd figure those space pirates must have taken care of you. You wouldn't do that. You would never get away with it. Who says so? Who would know? Like I said, nobody knows I picked you up. And nobody would know if I dumped you out the spaceport. If anybody did find you, they'd blame it on those other two. You didn't think of that, did you? League Patrol Ship Cosmos calling Spaceport on Planaria Rex. League Patrol Ship Cosmos calling Spaceport on Planaria Rex. 
Come in, Cosmos. This is Planet Man. We'll be landing in about an hour. Will you advise Judge Augustus? Yes, sir. And have Professor John Darrow come to the spaceport with him, too, please. Will do. That's all. We'll contact you again for clearance. Message received. Well, we're almost there. I'd give anything to be 100 million miles away from here right now. I know. I'd rather it have happened to me than those two kids. Do you still think there's a chance? No, Pat. There's no sense in trying to pretend. The lead patrols covered every one of the asteroids. They're checking some of the moons and the planets, but I was counting on their finding the kids and the asteroids. If they aren't there, I'm afraid they aren't anywhere. Then they must have been aboard the Planeteer when it was destroyed. That's the only conclusion I can reach. Now, we'll keep looking, and there's a chance in a million that they may be somewhere else, but it certainly is nothing to count on. Danjo and Pat are pretty upset and have just about given up hope of ever finding Billy and Jane. Maybe they won't now that Rox the Prospector is threatening to do away with the kids. We'll be back in a moment, but first, here is a message the Planet Man wants you to hear. Tune in again for more transcribed thrills and adventures. Rocket millions of light years into space with Dan Troll, the Planet Man. The Planet Man. Planet Man. Planet Man. Planet Man. Planet Man.